What's up gamers, lecture here of the ultimate guide for chain lightning sorcerers in Diablo 4. The chain lightning sorcerer is the best build for leveling a new character, and it'll get you all the way to level 100. Before I get into the leveling details, let's give you a preview of the final end game gameplay. Season 3 already started 3 days ago, and so far I've logged in about 30 hours on my new sorcerer character. I finally just got the newly added Starfall Coronet. This unique help enables a hybrid meteor setup to be supplemented into any build, even working to power up the Chain Lightning Sorcerer. Raiment of the Infinite also enables a new playstyle for sorcerers, allowing you to teleport offensively on top of enemies, stunning them and sucking them in. This gameplay shows me using Fireball Enchantment for AoE damage at first, until Starfall Coronet can be acquired. The final version of my build combines the Raiment of the Infinite Telestomp playstyle with the Starfall Coronet Hybrid Meteor setup to create what I'm calling Meteor Stomp. This hybrid variant is the most powerful version of the build, capable of grouping and crowd controlling entire packs of enemies, and then dumping meteors for massive AoE damage, while Chain Lightning bounces around to finish off elites and bosses. Let's cover the starting details for leveling a new sorcerer character. My Chain Lightning leveling guide can be used if you still need to complete the main story campaign, or if you've already completed it and have access to the campaign skip feature. With the campaign skip, you can complete Whisper events for Grim Favors to turn into the Tree of Whispers for a cache that rewards experience along with some items. If you really want to get tryhard, the fastest leveling method is running the first area of the Damhain Tunnels dungeon without rescuing any prisoners, and then resetting the dungeon to repeat farm the initial monsters over and over again. Damhain Tunnels reset farming is super degenerate and can be boring, so most players will enjoy whisper farming more, even if it's a bit slower for leveling. Chain Lightning is the best starting skill due to recharging aspect, which returns mana on every bounce for high efficiency. Clear Zen of Dungeon by level 25 to unlock recharging aspect in the Codex of Power, and then imprint it onto a rare ring. Until you get mana issues solved, Arc Lash is used early on to deal consistent damage. As soon as you hit level 15, immediately go do the Legacy of Magi class questline to unlock your first enchantment slot and then assign Fireball to it. Fireball enchantment is extremely important to supplement the build with AoE damage, since Chain Lightning has limited targeting. You will especially need the fiery explosions on death when dealing with high density enemies like in Damhain Tunnels. Once you have recharging aspect and fireball enchantment, leveling should be smooth for the rest of War Tier 1. You can find the step by step scale point allocation in my Chain Lightning Leveling Guide on Icy Veins. At around level 47, complete the first capstone dungeon to get into War Tier 3. Then you can switch to my Chain Lightning Endgame Guide on Icy Veins once you unlock Paragon at level 50. The endgame guide switches to a crackling energy setup, spawned from destructive chain lightning, and then picked up for mana gains with invigorating conduit. This requires a high amount of crit chance to be effective, so keep checking legendary item drops for a highly rolled elementalist aspect. If you get lucky and find one, imprint it onto an amulet for a 50% bonus aspect effect. Once your crit chance is high enough, you can drop Arc Lash from the skill bar. Just make sure you only cast Chain Lightning when your mana is above 100 to keep Elementalist Aspect activated, while collecting Crackling Energy to refill mana. In Ward Tier 3, attempt to get Sacred Items by turning in Grim Favors for Whisper Caches. Sacred Weapons will greatly boost your damage, and then you can start moving up the Nightmare Dungeon Tiers. Keep farming Nightmare Dungeon Tiers that you can clear quickly until around level 67, and then you can complete the second capstone to enter Ward Tier 4. Once again, you'll have a rough time until you upgrade to Ancestral Weapons in Ward Tier 4. The final goal is to obtain the two Chase unique items for the Meteor Stomp build variant, which you can find details for at the bottom of my Chain Lightning Endgame Ridden Guide. 
Raiment of the Infinite can be target farmed from Varshan, which requires summoning parts dropped from Whisper Caches and Ward Bosses. Starfire Coronet is a bit harder to target farm, as you need to work your way up to tier 30 Nightmare Dungeons for Distilled Fears to drop in order to summon the Beast in Ice. These uber bosses can be a challenge, so make sure you are strong enough to kill them or call in some help. Hopefully this video helps you get started with a Chain Lightning Sorcerer and eventually evolve into a Meteor Stomp Chain Lightning Sorcerer. Keep at it gamer, the whole progression is a grind, but the journey is a lot of fun with the final playstyle satisfying as hell. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future D4 content. Feel free to ask me any questions on our Discord server or catch me during a Twitch livestream. Good luck and happy slaying.